All right, what you're looking at is Pied Painter. Uh, this is a deluxe paint uh, clone uh, programmed in Python. This is not an emulation of uh, an Amiga running deluxe paint, even though it looks like it. Uh, the, the menus um, and the uh, mouse pointer and the uh, crosshair there looks very Amiga-ish but it's an actual Python application running on Windows. And it feels very much like Deluxe Paint. Um, there's been other clones made in the past that looked a little like Deluxe Paint, but never quite felt like it or implemented a lot of the features. I'll kind of go through some of those uh, afterwards, but I just wanted to show uh, Pied Painter uh, compared to uh, the Amiga version of Deluxe Paint. And let me just minimize the... Here, let's... So he, here's the Amiga version uh, with King Tut loaded also. And it's very similar. Now, even though I have this emulator running uh, and running Deluxe Paint, I rarely use it uh, because it doesn't feel as responsive as running it on a real Amiga. And unfortunately, I don't have a real Amiga. I used to when I was younger, but um, those days are gone. But uh, I did love the program, and uh, I do have a PC version. Uh, let's uh, let's talk, take a look at that. That I've been running in um, in DOSBox, <clears throat> and this version even though it's running in DOSBox, is uh, a lot more responsive. So I tend to use this. Um, so this is my uh, favorite version that's not running on a real Amiga, uh, but uh, it still runs pretty good in, in DOSBox. The only bad thing about this, it doesn't support modern formats, so you're kind of stuck with um, uh, PCX and uh, LBM or IFF format, but with uh, Pied Painter, uh, you can save in a variety of formats. So you can sh still save in IFF, uh, LBM, and BMP, JPEG, PNG, and TGA. Um, so you can save to modern formats. Um, so even with all the features it supports, I wish it supported one more feature, which is the uh, copy and paste. So you could copy whatever you're creating from Pied Painter to another application. Uh, that would make it so much more useful, but still I'm very impressed with what I see here. Uh, I've been testing all the tools and everything and they really work just like the Amiga. Let me just clear this. Um, and let's uh, pick a color here. And even the kaleidoscope works, which is something that doesn't get uh, implemented these days in a lot of other paint programs. You don't get fun little tools like this. But it's in Pi Painter. And fonts. Um, let me show you something about the fonts here. So it supports all the Windows fonts. So I'm not sure about the Amiga font that it shows here. I'm not sure if you can copy Amiga fonts into a folder somewhere and use those. That'd be great. I still don't know about that. But uh, all, the, uh, all the Windows fonts are supported. And get this, anti-aliasing, you can turn on or off. So this is one of the things that bothers me about modern paint programs is you can't fully turn it off. So if we go into um, paint here and just uh, type anything, there's no simple way of turning the anti-lacing off and um, you can't see it, but if we zoom in, see all these little colors here? Uh, that's really irritating when you're trying to incorporate fonts into some kind of um, graphic image that uh, you don't want these extra colors and I've had to paint over them with black and it's just a lot of time wasting. But in Pied Painter, you can turn them on or off. So, which is really cool. Uh, let's clear. 
So you can use all your uh, Windows fonts um, in any way you want. Um, so let's try it with a different color here and turn that on again. And yep. So whether you like it or not, uh, you can turn it on or off. So it's a great feature. And uh, I can't go over all the uh, Deluxe Paint features, but just playing around with them, you'll discover them. Um, here you can uh, turn the uh, CRT scan lines on, so you could give it that classic um, Amiga look running on a CRT monitor. And uh, we can have a, a one to one uh, square pixel mode. So all these little features are great. Um, but uh, let me just show you what I've been uh, testing uh, before this was available. So in the early days, uh, I whenever I would see a, a paint program, I would check it out just to see how good it is. Uh, one of the first programs I checked out was VGA Paint. And this was uh, basically one of the first Amiga clones. And uh, it's it's not bad for the time it was created. Uh, if we uh, check here about, very impressive about screen. So this was uh, made in 1998 by Avery Lee. And I guess at the time it was uh, pretty impressive. Um, I've tried using this, but it just, it looks very Amiga-ish or Deluxe Paint, but uh, it doesn't have the same feel. And But uh, occasionally I like to go into it and just play around, but uh, I, haven't, I haven't drawn anything with it. Uh, so let's close that down. And one other program that I have been playing around with, I didn't initially uh, like it that much, but um, it, it, it doesn't feel completely like uh, Deluxe Paint or Amiga Deluxe Paint, but there's enough here that um, it's useful. So you could copy and paste between uh, this and other Windows applications and you can save in other formats as well. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a little more useful than uh, VGA Paint. And uh, I've been using it more often these days, but um, it still doesn't quite feel like uh, Deluxe Paint. So that's why I'm so impressed with uh, Pipe Painter because it looks and feels like Deluxe Paint. So I think I'll be able to create something nice with the uh, with this tool now. And I think you should give it a try. If you, even if you never used Deluxe Paint before, it's a totally different feel than the standard Windows applications um, for pixel editors. Even if you use the Windows um, sprite editors or other vector drawing programs, uh, Deluxe Paint is completely different. Just give it a try. You'll be amazed at the uh, how impressive it is after a while. So. I'll leave a link in the uh, description. And like I said, it's a simple download and install and you'll be up and running.